I'm going to show you how to make a shopping list for your Apple Watch, so you can see your list on your wrist and cross off items as you complete your shopping. This is a cool feature, and I love having my grocery list on my wrist, without having to pull out a separate note. To create a shopping list, go to your Reminders app. You can do this on an iPhone, iPad, or your Mac computer. You could even do it directly on your Apple Watch, but I'm using my iPhone here because it's easier and faster. Under My Lists, you might already see a list for groceries, but if you don't, we'll create a new list. Give your new list a name and change the type from Standard to Groceries. You can also change the color and customize it with an icon if you want to. Now you can start adding items to your list. This can be any kind of shopping list, but I guess groceries is what people usually create shopping lists for. What I like about it is that when I add items here, my phone will automatically categorize them, making it easier to grab everything when I'm at the store. Alright, so my list is ready, and I'm ready for my shopping. Obviously, you could just use your iPhone at the store to cross everything off your list. But since I often have my hands full, I prefer to do this on my Apple Watch. On your Apple Watch, open the Reminders app and scroll down to Groceries. Boom! There's your grocery list, conveniently available on your wrist. You can cross items off as you pick them up, and if you forgot to add something to your list, you can even make changes and add items to your list directly on your watch. I love avocados, so I'll add those on my list. There you have it. That's how you use an Apple Watch as your shopping list. I hope that was helpful, and before you go, I have one ask for you. Hit the like button, drop a comment, or subscribe to our channel. All these things are a great zero-cost way to support our channel, and it helps us create more guides like this for our audience. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next tutorial.